We zijn op bezoek in de Messiaanse gemeente hier in Jeruzalem, Netifia. Deze ruimte wordt op Shabbat gebruikt als aanbiddingsruimte, maar door de week voor humanitaire hulp. Straks komen hier mensen eten en ze krijgen voedselpakketten mee, fruit en groenten, omdat ze dat nodig hebben. Jozef Schulam is de leider van deze gemeente en hij zal iets vertellen over wat ze hier doen en waarom ze dat doen en waarom het zo nodig is. Shalom, nice Jozef Schulam. Uh, do you want to tell something about the work you're doing? Yes, well, this is uh, uh, our congregational building. It doesn't look like it right now because uh, the young men over here are, are working and preparing for the food distribution. We have a food distribution here every Wednesday and uh, we're feeding over 150 families, probably more than 500 people. Uh, we provide them food for the whole week. Uh, each individual gets four kilos of, of, of uh, food, which includes uh, several kilos of fruit and vegetables and, and a kilo of meat or fish or, or, or beef or chicken. And uh, the people will start coming here soon. In a couple of hours, this place will be full of people that are coming here to get the food. And we give them uh, dry goods, canned goods, fresh vegetables, uh, meat, chicken. And uh, it, there is strictly humanitarian. Why? Because essentially the, the, the tradition, the missionary tradition of evangelical Christianity has been to talk. Talk, 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 or pass tracks. Uh, the Jewish people already uh, are tired of this talking. They're not interested in, in talking. They want to see, uh, you know, the, the Christian world and the Messianic Jews actually doing something for the land and for the people. And so we were the first to start this, this kind of humanitarian work here in Israel, uh, that we feed the poor. We as believers are obligated to them for many reasons. One is, first of all, because essentially uh, they are in need. And if your brother is in need, you are commanded by Yeshua to uh, help him. Uh, you can't just say, like uh, the priest or the Levite in the Good Samaritan story, God bless you, we'll pray for you. They are hungry, you have to feed them. Joseph, I understood that there was a soup kitchen here, that people come to eat here, uh, but I now understand that's no longer the case? We, we changed in February. In Feb from the 1st of February, we changed our pattern and the way we do things because, first of all, from the 1st of February, the city of Jerusalem Department of Social Services is in charge of providing the people that are coming here. Everyone that is coming here to get food today is somebody that the social workers of the city of Jerusalem, in cooperation with the Ministry of, of Welfare, in uh, sending them over here to us. They fill the form, they do the follow-up, they do the, 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 all the work except buy the food and give the food and provide the love that, that this food is, is bringing to these people from uh, the Messianic Jews. And, and it is very, very important that we have this cooperation with, with the government, with the, with the official agencies of welfare in the state of Israel because it is, in fact, a, a joint effort. They provide the people, they screen the people. Before we were f cooking the food and, 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 and it was, we had to have many more workers, much more expensive, and insurance and all kinds of other things that it takes when, when you have warm food, hot food for the people. And now we no longer have that. This was the advice, by the way, of the professionals. Uh, of the city, that it's much better for the people, healthier for the people, to take the food, to cook it, to eat it as they want it, as they like it, with salt, without salt, because when we were cooking, it was a big uh, confusion. There were some people on diet, they couldn't have salt. Others wanted salt. Others want, couldn't eat this, they could eat that. And, uh, you know, Jewish people are, are not always easy uh, to please. Moses had a hard time with them. And so essentially that's true for all people, but we are very special in this respect. So now we are providing the, the top quality food, top quality products, and they can cook it for themselves. Joseph, thank you very much for uh, this information.
You're very welcome. God bless you. This is ministry. Thank and, you. And uh, well, we have to look around uh, a little bit more, oh. I think. Uh, and thank you for your help and your contributions.